Okay, we're looking at specification point 1.1.4, relative electrical charge of subatomic particles. There are three subatomic particles you need to know about. First of all, there's the proton, um, which has a relative charge of plus one, and is found in the nucleus. There's the neutron, which is found in the nucleus, but it has no relative charge. And there's the electron that lives in the, the orbitals or the shells around the nucleus. Remember Niels Bohr came up with the idea that they were at set distances from the nucleus, and electrons have a relative charge of minus one. It's not their actual charge. Their actual charge is a really, really small number, like 10 to the minus 19. But for us, we're gonna compare them. So a proton and an electron have a relative charge of plus one and minus one compared to each other and compared to a neutron. Now in an atom, the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. So if you've got the equal number of positive and negative subatomic particles, Therefore, atoms have no overall charge. Remember, this is atoms. Atoms don't have a charge. There's that old joke that says an atom walks into a bar and says, can I have a drink? And the barman says, are you an atom? He says, yeah. He says, no charge. So the atomic number, the, the atomic number, each different atom has got a different number of protons. So the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Now that's important because uh, isotopes that you'll come across, they've got different numbers of neutrons. And ions can gain or lose electrons to form. So the atomic number is the number of protons. That doesn't change unless you change the element. So different atoms have different number of protons. Ions have different numbers of electrons from their atoms. The rule is this, metal atoms lose electrons to form positive ions and non-metal ions form negative charges because they gain electrons. And isotopes are atoms of the same element with different neutron numbers. So they have the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Before you move on, make sure you understand the relative charge of the proton, electron, and neutron. Make sure you know what the atomic number is. Make sure you know what an atom is, an ion is, and an isotope is.